if you're looking for Kenya's hidden gem, this is it. Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new video. So we're currently in a place called Gitunguri and if you notice we're in a market right now. Reason being is because today we're going to go on to a hike and we're with Zanel and Zanel wore shorts and the person who's guiding us told us that shorts aren't going to work out for the hike. The shops are going to hurt her legs and stuff. I got some Adidas <laughs> <laughs> that was actually quite quick, <laughs> no lie. We parked our cars and we realized, oh gosh, that she's wearing shorts and we just walk across find this market. But I don't blame you though. I mean, usually when you're hiking, you can yeah, wear shorts. Yeah, it's easier. I had tights in the morning and I was like, nah, let me just Yeah, yeah. Today's video, we're going to be visiting yet another one of Kenya's hidden gems and we're going to be hiking through three waterfalls. I basically linked up with these guys, they're called Let's Drift and what they do is they explore these different hidden gems here in Kenya and they take people on hikes to them. So uh, one of the guys dropped a pin, he told me drive to this place, park your car, we're going to start hiking from there. The drive to this place was about two hours and it was so scenic, probably one of the best drives that I've been on. Travel crew for the day, we got Zanel. Who wore shorts instead of wearing the right clothes? <laughs> That's my sister Kira. This is Alex, hey guys. the guy who dropped the pin, the one and only true explorer of Ah, you're not the true explorer. He's he's the true explorer. This is John. He's the local guide that's going to be taking us to all the waterfalls today. This is completely raw, so there's no entrance fee. There's nothing like that. So you're saying you find these places by talking to the local people yeah, around just, this place? Yeah, just local people. I mean, first, the reason why I find it way easier working with local people, the, you're safe. Yeah. You know. Like, you know you're not trespassing anybody's land or something. So, and then through that you find a network of other people who tell you, oh, this, this place is our place, you know. So just come and check it out. You're literally off the beaten path. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Right on the slopes of those hills are tea farms. You got a lot of trees and more tea farms over there. And <laughs> just right over there is a waterfall. You can actually see that mist rising up because of the pressure of that waterfall. Okay, careful, careful. See, I wait for you guys here. <laughs> no, let's go, Please. let's go, let's go. Because this is how we have to get down so you can both be safe. So you can imagine how tough this hike is for us and we're in between a bunch of tea plantations and I've just seen a few ladies picking tea from these plants and they're not even breaking a sweat. Mayday, man down, oh. man down. Oh god, the steepest slope we've ever gone down. A short but a somewhat difficult hike later, we have now made it to the first waterfall. I was trying to protect myself, but that was a good transition because look at that. Whoa. Whoa, does it have a name? Gatamayu Falls. <laughs> I've fallen so many times. Like the, the, the one that made me laugh was when I fell like this. <laughs> yeah, I fell like that also and my ankle got stuck. Is your ankle like, okay though? Is your ankle okay? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, because I was worried. I was like, because your yeah. ankle, your ankle sort of twisted in a funny way. It got stuck in a branch. So we have to take off our shoes and pull up our trousers so that we can get to the waterfall. No, 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 no. This is not true. Things we do for adventure. <laughs> this water here is so cold. My feet are freezing. <laughs> I feel like the most Difficult part of this hike is lugging around this camera. Hats off to the mighty Alex. He's been lugging my camera to this super sketchy. This camera has been through a lot. Thank you, Sanel. No. <laughs> but look at that. And look at the mist rising up and the sun is just hitting it. <laughs> Talk about magnificent. Wow.
right, so the journey back begins. Don't try this at home, kids. It's not safe. It's a little bit risky, but you know, the things we do for the vlog. All right, so we're making our way to the second waterfall, which apparently you can swim in. So the coolest thing about this hike is that it's not as intensive on uh, your stamina, but it's, it's quite tough in terms of it's really, really steep. Okay, just gotta try not to get cut by these plants. Deep into the jungle we go. We have no water, we have no food. The only way we can find help is to make it to the waterfall. Are we gonna make it? That is the ultimate question. Steep, steep, steep. The trick is, you get your stick, you put it down in the ground, and then you walk like an old man. And then you don't slip. <sighs> oh, <laughs> uh huh. That's what happened to me. <laughs> See? <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of stories to tell when you get back home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. There was a reason Alex told me to take it with me. <laughs> Alex just mentioned that this river is Ati River, but the locals over here they know it as Gata Mayu. So that right there is a bark of a bamboo tree. It's used to make papers. Ah, yeah. because oh, of yeah. how thin it is. It looks like cardboard actually, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of On we continue. You can see the waterfall right over there. Just a little bit more through the jungle. One thing I know is that by the time we're done with this hike, when we get back home, our skin is going to burn. I have no idea how many poisonous leaves we've touched because I can feel my arms burning right now. The final slope before uh, we make it to the waterfall. Oh gosh, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Ooh. I can't believe you're already here and you're just enjoying a packet of crisps. <laughs> Okay, it's time to put on our swimming costumes and go take a swim. I know the water's really cold, but ooh, let's do it. Oh my God, it's so close. And my body is just going numb right now. Ah. What? Incredible! Oh my freaking god! Oh, the sun! Oh, the hot rock! It feels so good! Everything about this trip has been so amazing. The drive here, the hike, the views, the crew. Today has been a, a really fun day. You can just spend the whole day here. Yeah, it's, it, it's peaceful. The air is so crisp. And it's not that hot, like it's it's noon right now, the sun is uh, hitting directly, hitting but, directly it's nice. but it's not that hot, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. By the way guys, this video has been made possible thanks to this beautiful lens that I got, it's a new lens, a 14 to 30 lens. <laughs> they thought I was going to say them. <laughs> this lens has been one of my dream lenses to own. I'm so happy to have it. So my old lens was about that tight and you could just see a lot of my face. So right now you can see a lot more of the environment that we're in. Super cool, I love it. And that's why, like even while walking to the hike, I can just hold it a little bit like this. It makes things so much easier. So I'm so happy to have this lens. Bye-bye, beautiful waterfalls. Until next time. And so we're hiking back. Luckily, we're not using the same way that we used to come here. You know how they pick out the tea from yeah. these leaves? Yeah, they, they, tea picking classes with John. Okay, they normally pick two and a bud. Uh -huh. This is two and a bud. One, two. 
but then through all these leaves how do they manage to detect two and so is this this is is this correct but see it's a t but it's one of them Cindy. it just needs to become bigger that big uh, let me see if i can find one is this one oh, i managed hey we can be tea pickers now no every now and then like two weeks. Weeks. every two weeks yeah, yeah. Oh. The light green ones are ready to be picked. The dark green ones have already been picked. Lessons from a tea picker. How fast can you pick? Are you a fast picker? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, okay. We're going uphill, but this is so much easier. <sighs> Less slipping. Catch up, girls! It's crazy how this hike is so hard for us, but a lady like that, I guess, I'm guessing she's in her 60s, and she has so much of tea in a basket in her bag, and she's climbing up. She overtook us a few times. Massive respect. We're out of the valley. Flat ground. I love you, flat ground. Oh. We've just made it back to the parking. Wow, that was an awesome hike. And guys, with that, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys want to check out these beautiful hidden gems just like this, make sure to check out Let's Drift. I have their link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.